Tuesday, January 23rd, 2024, at approximately 2016 hours, dispatchers relieved, received a 911 call from a subject who spoke Spanish. The caller told dispatchers he was shot, but he did not know the location he was at, and it appeared the call ended. Dispatchers tracked the phone uh, via latitude and longitude coordinates to a remote area in the unincorporated uh, Atalanto area near Lessing Avenue. Once overhead the area, uh, officers discovered a crime scene uh, and what appeared to be multiple gunshot wound victims. Uh, one of the vehicles was apparently shot, uh, had multiple gunshot strikes in it. Uh, the two vehicles were a Dodge Caravan and a Chevy Trailblazer. At approximately 2040 hours, deputies from the Victor Valley Station arrived on scene and located four deceased males with severe burns. A fifth deceased male was located in the Chevy Trailblazer and a sixth deceased male uh, a short distance away uh, who sustained a gunshot wound. Our Sheriff's Homicide Investigators assumed the investigation to process the scene and find those responsible for these heinous acts of violence. I can confirm all victims had apparent fatal gunshot injuries. Additionally, four of the six were burned at the location by the suspects. As far as the motives, uh, we are confident that this appears to be a dispute over marijuana, which resulted in the murders. I want to remind everyone this is still an active investigation, and we will not be able to disclose all the facts of this case. Hey, what's going on, guys? Well, <clears throat> news and came out of the uh, El Mirage homicides out there in San Bernardino County, which I reported on last Tuesday. Now, those guys that you've seen up there are the ones that they are saying took the lives of six people. First, I thought it was five. They said it was another person found up the road some. Now, if you've seen in that press conference what they said in that small amount of uh, limited amount of access of information what they're giving out to the public. They said one of the victims called from on the scene speaking Spanish, didn't know where he was at. They tracked his phone there. That's how they found out where he was at because they was in a remote uh, area. And that's one of the things about this thing that was a mystery to me. I was like, you know, how did they know he was back there? It's no city lights. There's no way no possibly anybody would really be back there like that. They left the bodies out in the street Four of the six bodies they tried to burn up, which I thought was odd. And uh, they left them all spread out there. Another thing I was saying was, you know, I'm anxious to see what the ages are and if these are the sexes of these people. Because if they were men, the way that looked secluded like that, it looked like some type of drug deal going wrong. Come to find out, they say it's all over the sale or purchase of illicit marijuana where they was going to try to, you know, come to some type of transaction. And that's one of the things with this whole situation. If you look at these dudes up here, they look like some unsavory characters, especially the dude in the middle with the Dracula hairline. Can't do it. That's why, man, I, would ne I can never be in the game. It's no trust, no loyalty, and everybody's a threat from the simplest transaction to do something illegal. Now, I have never seen the people who the bot, you know, the names of the victims or anything that have been released if they were ever released. But they got these guys right up there and they're talking about, hey, we don't have they have no bond. For them to do that, to these five strangers. They got definite proof they was the one or one of them fessed up because they said it's over marijuana. How would they know that unless one of them told? If you go and look and you've been paying attention to this story, there are bodies that were strung out there that were set on fire and they were charred like almost in a pile. On my screen, say on my thumbnail, you can see when the bodies laid out there. I couldn't believe they had that as a picture. The body laid out there like he was burned too. On the thumbnail I just put up there. This is crazy, man, how people could, I mean, over weed? I mean, Weed is legalized on over a lot of places, especially out there in California. There's still people that are going to do stuff, you know, illegal stuff because it's hard to get out of bad habits. Another thing is this. When you're dealing with this type of work, your life is on the line all the time. Now, these five dudes right here. They range from 24 years old all the way up to 34 years old. 
two of the people, Taniel Baez Duarte and Mateo Baez Duarte, are brothers. Ten years apart. The other guy, Jose Nicholas with the uh Jose Nicholas Hernandez Sarabia. And then it's another Jose Gregorio Hernandez Saraba. They must be brothers too. Then you got this last guy with the beard, Jose Manuel Burgos Prada. I don't understand. I mean, it must have been a serious shipment for five people to be out there. But one thing I did notice when this story was going on last week and I was keeping up with it for a little bit. Did you see the size of those holes in that SUV? Them bullet holes. Did you see that? They was getting shot with a high caliber rifle. That was a rifle. That was no handgun that put bullet holes like that. Unless it was a 50 cal, but I don't see nobody letting that off out there in the desert, man. They must have been in a real remote spot where you couldn't hear the shots of a war weapon being let off. Let that resonate in your head. Why would you meet anybody out there in the dark to make a transaction like that? I don't know if these guys are affiliated with gangs or whatever. You know, a lot of people responded to the video I did and said, you know, it's parts of that area is like unsavory. But I heard, you know, people said they ain't hear nothing out there. Then again, you wouldn't be listening for something like that in the spread out. Because they said the homes are spread out out there. So I guess that's why they picked that place. But these five guys ain't got no bond, y'all. And they got information that they shouldn't have. We'll see how this thing go. But um, five people gone. And they said it was five men that was killed. I wanted to see if there was any women involved there. But it was all men. This whole thing was men. People they had out there, they went to dispose of the body, treated them, treated them like trash over some marijuana. Weed. I mean, I know it's a market and stuff for that. And like, I mean, it's something worth killing but for. But I mean, putting your life on the line to make a quick buck is not worth it. Especially with money. Ain't no, nothing really dying, worth dying over money for. But I mean, they got these guys and we'll see where this thing goes. But it's an unfortunate event. I wouldn't have never went out there. I mean, man, people got to be desperate to be doing stuff like that or just greedy. I think it's powered by greed. You know, somebody told, I want to know how they were exactly caught, how they caught these people and how they know these people uh, are the ones responsible. They didn't give them no bail. So I don't know. I, I'm, I'm assuming somebody said something. Somebody talked. But I mean, the guy spoke in Spanish and said he was shot and then the phone went dead. You know, no pun intended. But uh, I want to know how they found them. I guess fingerprints, I guess. People are sloppy. I'm Stock Market Steve for the Dynamic Reason channel. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Stay tuned. This news just broke in the last hour. Possibly we could have some more information by the morning time. See you in the next video. Take care.